spoil their drinking water. As Ed Weinstock reports, a bacteria has been discovered in the local water company's distribution lines. The water that this Columbia high schooler is drinking is safe, but only after school workers boiled it to kill a microscopic parasite that state environmental officials found in the local water company's distribution lines. Water fountains at the school have also been shut off. We have large containers that uh, can boil water, and uh, we have a large supply of that boiled water. It's been cooled, and it has been circulated in a couple areas of the school. The parasite in the water could make you sick if ingested. Water company officials have been testing the water that they pump from the Susquehanna River, but officials say only the state's DER lab can detect the organism. Columbia Water Company customers are being asked to boil for one minute the water they use for drinking and cooking. They are recommending that you not drink it straight from the tap. I talked with uh, some of the larger uh, industrial complexes, the schools, nursing homes, hospital, and we recommend that they do turn off the water fountains uh, for use by the students, for their patients, what have you. Some 18,000 people in Columbia and West Hempfield Township are affected by the parasite, but water company officials think there might be a lot more. Numerous Susquehanna Valley communities get their drinking water from the Susquehanna, but so far the parasite has only been detected in Columbia's water supply. Officials with the Columbia Water Company say they expect the water will be safe to drink in about a week to ten days after they superchlorinate it to kill the parasite. In the meantime, the company says they will clean and sterilize the storage reservoir and flush the distribution system. In Lancaster County, Ed Weinstock, New Center 8. And once again, Columbia Water Company customers are being advised to boil their drinking and cooking water. The water should remain at a rolling boil for at least one minute to kill the bacteria. This evening, leading up tonight, a microscopic parasite has made its way into the water supply, creating concern for countless people. And now, even a major health care provider, Ed Weinstock, reports. Hospital workers at Columbia Hospital continue to boil water to kill this tiny parasite. A microscopic organism can cause intestinal problems like diarrhea and cramps. So far, hospital officials say no one has been admitted to the hospital for stomach problems, but they have been getting a lot of calls from concerned residents. People are calling up with concern about the diarrhea and the stomach colic that they might receive from this parasite that's in the water system. Treated water at the hospital is stored in refrigerators until a patient needs a drink. The ice machine is temporarily out of service. So is the water fountain. Outside the hospital, a 400-gallon mobile storage tank provides a backup water supply. It may be a week to 10 days before residents of Columbia and West Hempfield Township can again drink water straight from the tap. In the meantime, Columbia Water Company officials say the DER should look at other communities like Lancaster, who also get their water from the Susquehanna River. The parasite was detected in the water, as well as in the company's distribution pipes. To date, I have heard of no other systems being tested. So I do think that they owe it not only to uh, the other water companies, but to the populace to start running these tests on other systems immediately. Columbia Water Company officials expect to super chlorinate the water starting Monday. That should kill the parasite. In Columbia, Lancaster County, Ed Weinstock. New well, the Department of Environment longer. Zoe Kyle has more on the water advisory affecting the borough tonight. The water filters at the Columbia Water Company are doing their job. Superintendent at the plant, Bill Spangler, says the system is moving out all the residual water, which could still contain the parasite DER tests found evidence of last week. That's just one of the 12 items on a list DER provided to the water company to rid the water of the organism. Spangler has already received phone calls from customers about the increase in chlorine in the tap water. That will also kill the parasite, but it gives the water a swimming pool type odor. The water company is ready to lift the boil water notice as soon as the Department of Environmental Resources approves of the changes here. The company and DER will meet on Tuesday to talk about those changes. This company supplies customers in Columbia and West Hemfield Township, but since the source of the water is the Susquehanna River, it may not be the only system affected by the organism. DER plans to test the Lancaster water system, although city officials have not received any official word of that. Since this is an organism that is normally removed in the regular filtering of water, the testing is just a precaution. In Lancaster County, Zoa Kyle, New Center 8. Tonight, the Pentagon... ...boiling water, their drinking water. If they don't boil it, a microscopic organism in the water could make them sick. Ed Weinstock reports on what's being done to get the water back to normal. Across Columbia, there are geysers. 
as Columbia Water Company workers begin the process of flushing the community's water system. The flushing is the latest step by the company to cleanse the system of a microscopic organism that was detected in the water supply. Super amounts of chlorine are now being pumped into the water. State environmental officials say residents should not have to boil their water much longer. If all has gone well by Wednesday afternoon, we'll be lifting the boil water notice um, at that time. The parasite was discovered in the Susquehanna River where Columbia gets its water. It was also discovered in the company's distribution lines. Company officials say the chlorine will kill the parasite, but it will also leave an aftertaste in the water. You will have a noticeable uh, taste of chlorine in the water. Until state environmental officials lift the boil notice, water company customers are advised to boil the drinking and cooking water for one minute. The parasite could cause diarrhea and cramps. Like Columbia, many communities get their drinking water from the Susquehanna River. State environmental officials say in the coming weeks they will be checking other water systems to see if they were also infected by the parasite. In Columbia, Lancaster County, Ed Weinstock, New Center 8.